This is the uh, Call of Duty Vanguard World War Multiplayer reveal. Now, a couple of things that I'd like to play and we would look out for. You think you've seen this actually? Well, then we get to see it together because I literally started playing Call of Duty Vanguard because Mr. Hideous Adams was like, Bibsy, how do you like Call of Duty? It's time. And I'm like, dude, man, d dad, please, don't, please, please. I, I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm new to this. It's my first time. He's, he's like, bro, first hit's free. Get the code. Need a team on soon, boys? Damn straight. That being said, I don't understand why people probably never understand why people go to usual people don't this content now. Um, yeah. In the, he was in the zeitgeist at the time. But, ladies and gentlemen, I digress. This Call of Duty Vanguard Worldwide Multiplayer Reveal. Let's play a couple of things. Let's play a couple of games. If they go in and explain and they have a tweet, I don't know if they're going to do it in this, but when they do live events and they go, hey, here's a press conference or event, have Twitter open. Every tweet they put up on the screen, go find that tweet. I guarantee you it's either by a person who is a Call, a Call of Duty content creator on YouTube or Twitch or how many times I've digressed, bro? I've digressed so far, bro. This is just the digression. The digression is its own digression. All of their stuff will literally be fed from content, content creators, or it'll be on brand new accounts. Every fucking year I've done this. Every year. My favorite part of a new Call of Duty event announcement, whatever the fuck it is, is when you look at the tweets and you look at the social media stuff and you go, oh, dude, this is nuts. So, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Vanguard, well, I want to play a reveal. I should probably put this full screen, though I cover up most of the screen. So we'll just go like this. This is probably easier, yeah? You guys can watch this. This is super easy. All right, let's go. Let's put this bad boy up here. Is it playing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you mean pros and shit talking about the game? Yes, kind of. Kind of. Uh... I'm talking about like people who only content that they make is Call of Duty content and then they get contacted and go, hey, man, can we use your tweet in this event? And they go, fuck yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. If Pro Slag on it, they cop a fine from CDL, 100%. If I do this, am I covering up? I'm covering up way too much, aren't I? Maybe I can do it like this. Uh, like this. Is this good? Is this better? This is better, right? Okay, cool. Thanks. Which one's better, that one or the other one? You guys let me know. Um, it's more so around people who go ahead and make that content and then they go, hey man, what's going on? Better? Ah, right, cool. Let's watch this. Watch this. Let's watch this. Oh, this is live action? Is it one like live action stuff? Wait a second. This is, this is pre-rendered stuff, right? This is pre-rendered. Let me just go back to the start and check this stuff out. Put the cam in the middle. <laughs> in the middle of the screen. Uh, yep, that's fake. Those people were real. That's fake. I'm not sure. My the old man is finally here. Welcome to the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm Greg Reisdorf, right, the Greg. multiplayer creative director at Sledgehammer Games. At reveal, we saw the rise of Special Forces team, and now we've had our okay, first fake. technical that's test fake. of Vanguard out in the wild, the Champion Hill Alpha. Our team is I kind of feel like he's fake too. Look how smooth he is. I feel like he's an avatar, yeah? I don't know, man. It's hyper focused on key data points coming out of that test. And thank you for all the valuable feedback. One of them's bagging a show. Today, Fuck we yeah. will show you our vision of the multiplayer experience Ooh. for Call of Duty Vanguard. Okay. On our last project, we brought the Brotherhood of World War II soldiers to life mm -hmm. in a more traditional approach, which was a great experience. For Vanguard, we're taking liberties and risks to deliver something completely fresh, new, and fun. But first, let's watch. He doesn't the look real. He's too. Call of Duty Vanguard. He's a deep fake. One hundred percent is a deep fake. One hundred percent. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Warriors. He's an actor, isn't he? He looks like an actor. I think he's been in something. Assassins. Their lives turned okay. upside down by the right. Each one with an axe to grind. Wait a second. So this is Inglorious Bastards Call of Duty style, yeah? This is what this is. 
Because it's a bunch of people that basically, uh, you know, they're all fighting against the Reich, right? And when we turn them loose, you better believe they're coming out swinging. That's all it is. It's good that they're bringing stuff back in from like, <clears throat> fuck off. And it's not this smooth. If you're playing it as this smooth, man, there's something wrong. Because if those guys are standing there, you're dead already, boy. Yeah, that is straight up from Glorious Bastards, man. Also, that little mini tank thing, man, that thing gets stuck on everything, bro. If there's like a little lip, it'll get stuck on that. If there's like, see those little things that are in front of it? See here, look, I'll get my mouse and show you guys. See these things here? This is completely inaccurate because in game, if you were to drive over this, it would take you 45 seconds and the whole thing would blow up. You literally could chuck it down here and it would get to about there, right here where the mouse cursor is, and it would literally just, it'd blow up because it, it doesn't get any traction. Yo, Nick, minute, what up, dude? Hey, man. I'm letting all the Call of Duty game fool me. I buy it every year and I play for two weeks. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I may have, I may have purchased it already. I mean... Ah, we've, we've played with this gun. I feel like in this, the gun is way too up in the camera. Yeah. I'm probably going to get ripped because this is like copyrighted content, right? Fuck, I should have thought about that. So we're just going to keep talking over the top. So, I mean, like, really, realistically, if you just, you know, like... They did too much. They did way too much. They did absolutely way too much. And the crazy thing is, like, see these walls in the here? If you play this in game... It's like, there's only certain points which you can bust through. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Right. I get it. Sure. Um, but the... Can we talk about how low the camera is in the chest? 20 maps. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tactical destruction. Yeah, but once you throw a nade, it all blows off. Mm -hmm. Where's the Aussie guy? Oh, bruh. That's, that's big chungus. Dude. What the heck? Um. Okay. 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 November 5th. That's like next week, right? Yeah. What is this? <gasps> this is zombies. This is 100% zombies, right? Now and get early access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid Mastercraft. Oh, Black boys. Ops, that's what's War coming. Warzone. Yep. Yep. Such amazing Quickly, everything's plugging into Warzone these days. Oh, it's the new Warzone map? Okay, cool. Awesome. I mean, it was lit. I mean, it was fucking amazing. I love the Call of Duty Presents rather than Activision Presents because they literally want to take it away from the whole Activision thing because at the moment, Activision as a company is kind of in the toilet a little bit. Um, this is like the movie trailers you see, then you go watch the movie and then the good bits from the trailer. Please don't, please, please don't get my hopes up. <laughs> Look at that man's jacket. Dude, this guy is not even real. If he, unless he walks through that door, he's not real. There's some digital shit going on. There's definitely some feathering that's happening here. He's definitely got some soft lighting. I think also he has some like, he's got some like beauty effect applied. Do you know what I mean? Yo, Polar. Uh, imagine gaming companies without Activision getting their grubby little paws involved. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You have Splitgate, which is basically what Halo should have been. You have... Um, uh, Path of Exile, which is what happened when, um, Blizzard dropped the ball. So, you know, Battalion, anyone? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Um, well, in jackets, how many shirts do you own? I own, like, a couple. It's fine. We're in the middle of stuff. Um, yeah, this guy's not wearing a mask, which, which makes me believe this guy's not real. You know what I mean? If it's 20, 2021, unless they shot this, like, in 2019. Bro, I was trying to make a battalion change. <laughs> Why not? 
Why not, bro? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Tell me off. The game's dead anyway. Um, I watch too much Node, um, Corridor, Crew, and now I see that CGI magic everywhere, bro. That is the worst part is when you watch those guys, it goes crazy all over the place. Hello, just got my 5G shot. Now they can track you. Goddamn. When 6G shows up on your phone, it means the cycle has been complete. Yeah. Work that the team's been able to do, and we're thrilled to have that trailer out in the wild. Our multiplayer team is <laughs> he looks in the as real as these cat. characters do. We focused on you know? special forces operators that are you know? gritty antiheroes from every front of the world. We've also and did they have to get one from everywhere to bring you brute force weaponry that devastates your enemies and world around you? Yeah, Today, I get I having operators down with some of my colleagues I haven't seen in over a year. And some folks that I've never met before in real life. Um, our conversation you know today will be broken down into four different sections. Like that? We're is that better? About our May go like here? Offering for multiplayer. Then it's how his We're head and face don't move. Gameplay. We're going to talk to our art director. <sighs> Vanguard I genuinely do feel like it's just filters, bro. Talk to our it's filters and too much makeup. They brought our operators to life. Because he, and to match the aesthetic of everything. Guests from Beanox and Raven. I get you want to have a set, stream, but like... We've invited some of your favorite creators to play Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer, so stick around. Oh, really? You invited started. some people to, to play it, huh? Yeah? How come... How come... Um, how come... Well, let's talk about some multiplayer. Sounds good. Ooh. So we have 20 total maps in the game. We do. Oh, the actual video. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Before. It's all good. They're thank you. across all locations. He's, the... he, he's got a kill or makeup on, but he's too smooth. It's too smooth, man. There's a problem with it. It's too fucking smooth. Rear edge camera shot. His body's definitely CGI. I don't think it's CGI. I think they touched it up. They digitally enhanced it. Funny if it was behind the scenes and it was just a fucking... That would be hilarious. Well, I mean, shit. Here's the thing. Konshu is doing... Um, Konshu is doing Unreal. An Unreal, Unreal Studio stuff. So it wouldn't be that far of a throw. You know, what he's doing. Um, yo, Jimmy, what up, dude? Um, smooth up red. Yeah, bro. He has a smooth brain. Konshu is unreal. Konshu is absolutely unreal. Absolutely. Their Western Front, Eastern Front, North mm -hmm. Africa, yep. as well as the Pacific. And then the four maps that comprise Champion Hill, which is Airstrip, Market, Courtyard, and Train Yard. I kind of want to play Champion Hill. I do Hill. love how we have found this fresh approach to World War II. We really, really wanted this time to focus on it. I feel like this game is basically a love letter to World at War. Too. Yeah? I feel like that? A match on Gavutu, and you just came Yo, I realized my name is missing blue highlight in his banner. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Next minute. Let me fucking run so you back up, up son. That was the first technical test of Vanguard. Yep. And starting today, you can preload for the beta which has Champion Hill that everybody can now experience as well as okay. four new maps. Yeah, that, that's what I'm super excited about. It's Core MP for the first time. So it's Red Star, Hotel Royale, Gavutu, yep. and Eagle's Nest. Okay. I cannot wait to see... So that's like four maps. We do get four maps in it and they, they do get... And then we also have kind of combat facing. Yeah. You can now experience this huge range... Oh, dude, it's totally there. I'm touched up too much. All the way up to blitz combat and boss those modes. So you can see here where the lack of being of the touch up of the face and stuff it's is. Such a different experience between when you're playing. And I genuinely feel that background's probably green screen. And you listen to blue screen. Well, because when you're playing blitz, it's just no holds barred. Like a virtual going. studio. You can see where the the tactical is a lower player count, so we're actually increasing the time to engagement. And oh, maybe it's not. Every I don't know. Matters. Soft filters you're and stuff, I guess. Play with it in the filter system. So within quick match play, you're able to be like, oh, I prefer tactical. I'm going to be doing this. I remember. I really we think that talking about it, providing people with a lot of options is awesome. But at the end of the day, everyone's only going to play TDM or fucking hardcore or S&D. Having a right. map the size of Red Star feel like shipment if you're having that, that level of combat well. pacing <sighs> is, is what's really fun because yeah, it's crazy. it's different map by map make it's it so feel like shipment what because everyone's so small yeah. like such a small map just and then why don't you just give us shipment it's, it's amazing i don't understand i don't understand we also have Boys. control coming in as well it's it's much money the uh one wolf maps they absolutely really do huckle tdk oh dude hardcore is the best it's essentially the first the gun up wins hard point that's moving around the map on this track so i used to play them you're taking it and as people play it more and more and discover this looks definitely green screen like around his head definitely definitely green screen no definitely, how many people uh, it may not be, so but the other one was definitely. You know, playing as a team. Because they've got shadows and shit that go back, back to the front, to the background. Really locking down those lanes. 
that mode is bringing so much more than we've ever had. And you're also exploring the entire map. I don't feel like playing the with other players in these maps, being able to go into, you know, clans. They're coming into the game. They're a tier one feature. Right. You can pair up with your buddies and your friends. Right. We really want to lean into social play because it does make all of your experiences on those maps and modes just so much better. Okay, you know, so... Control too. Like, if you played patrol with your clan, how much more effective so you would be? Yeah, the weird lighting is weird. Everybody was coordinated, taking the patrol point at the same time. I'm glad yeah, it has cross-platform. I really do think that this plans. game is, like is thing that we have it's weird game. because it's the cross-platform play like affects your PC, guys. To, to and it goes, and it goes, and yeah, go and, and be it's on weird. Progression. And you can be in a clan together, cross-gen as well. That's right. Really <sighs> okay. Commitment to our play. Okay. Cross-gen clans. I seriously just bring back the um the freaking what was the thing they brought in in Black Ops Two? The freaking Elite Call of Duty Elite. Bring that back. Do a platform. Make it so that I can look at my shit on my phone. Make it look so that I can get in contact with my teammates on my phone. Make it so that we can have a look at our stats. We can organize clan battles. We can we can basically that is plugged into every single game. So we can go, you know what? Let's go and play uh tonight. We're gonna be scrimming on uh Cold War. Okay, cool, awesome. Cold War it is, boys. Oh, we've only, we haven't got these guys for Cold War Cold War. All right, let's get the boys in for Cold War. Let's do it. Okay, done. Elite was so freaking ready it was ready it was it was it was it had so much potential but li literally it was one game it was a one game fucking deal man and i really feel like it, it could have been so much more so much more players they let it die. cross gen yeah they let it cross platform run, man. play where you can go and team up with really typical ricks with the clan mates 100% for me because now i can finally play with my cousin in toronto uh. as a pc player and i'm going to play on my ps4 at home I really oh bro well. and then your lag is going to be fucking bullshit dude it really widens the scope of the social experience if you have a friend who's playing call of duty you don't have to now ask them oh what are you playing on right you can just be like join my clan we're so excited to have call of duty uh, we're starting a clan you're starting a clan Big Dick Energy. The Big Dick Energy crew. Duty Vanguard launch. The Maybe that's what we call that group. Has done a YouTubers. phenomenal job. I can't <laughs> thank them big enough. Big Dick Energy. All of the effort they've put in. Content the creators is Big Dick Energy, bro. One, Why not? It's gonna be fuck it. No one's gonna do it. Let's talk about. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're here to talk about games. Well, if you're if you're reactive environments, movement and footsteps, create a class. See, weapons. look. They look so. Did they get a did they get an artist in who painted this photo to do these guys' makeup? Because they have like rosy cheeks and the bottom half of it is literally I don't know, man. It's weird. It's weird. Actually, did you made sure uh well in front of some of the business stuff? Hundred percent. So when we were thinking about it as you have to play the game to be in a clan, fuck no. Dude. Of pulling the trigger has to be Hell awesome. no. And you need to be makeup, lighting, and camera, hundred percent. Well. It's all about that. 100% it's makeup, lighting, and camera, because look at this. If I turn this off, you can see how fucking, how weird shit gets. Yeah? And if I do this, you guys can see how weird shit gets. Let's start again, it should go off. <laughs> Maybe it's not all connected. Yeah, it's 100% lighting. 100% lighting. Player creativity. When you first shoot something and it reacts... You're going to rock that clan 100%. You becoming Bino. a little more creative about what you want to do with that. Tactical sprint is, is in the man? game. We have it coming back, <laughs> and you can just sprint through those walls. It's well. Agent 76. We try dude. to give multiple options for how I'm to do things, which really allows. He's for hiding in plain um, sight. Little do you know, he's right. got to do this when thing where he talks to them, and then when they're not looking, fucking. They can also flush you out. You start seeing this stuff just start getting shredded. Agent 69, bro. Top of these surfaces as well. <laughs> it's like Agent. Sliding Agent 75, bro. The scuff on. Mounting on the top, blind firing over the top. So blind fire. Like, let's just talk about yeah. that for a second. Because bro, this is a yoke. Except for that guy on the left. To Vanguard. It's kind of the hip fire of mount. We actually have it set up. Are you fucking serious? You can blind. You can, bl you can blind fire. Mount. So when you're near something, you're gonna go into mount every time you do that. But if you're in cover behind it. Your gun's gonna come up. Bro, and his now face. In the state where looks you like the game, you know, dude. It's over. weird. You a little peek over the piece of cover that you're on. Right. You're now able to move back and forth across that fire. You get the hip fire spread. And then once you see something. But it's only coming, like front you on. Go right back when you start peeling around and seeing the other parts the of their face, like here, you can see his it's cheek. It's so fluid. It just feels like it was always supposed to be there. 
destructible environments are throughout the game. Okay. It's on every destructible map. environments don't really exist. Over time. You basically right, just blow it all up on your first run through it. Starts at is going to look different. Bro, he's, he's, he's lining up those two other dudes when they don't look. I mean, yeah, cool. It's, the chairs tip really over and like a whole spear in the walls, but those holes are already there, man. You're going to shoot these windows out first shot anyway. No worries, bro. It does make visual mess and it gets super cluttered. We're going to play, we're going to play some Vanguard and then like after this. And then you go into something like Blitz, which is just crazy amounts of players in there. And those maps completely change based on how that combat pacing is flowing throughout every playlist that you're going into and, and those modes yeah. even. We have a caliber system as well, which yes. interacts with these destructive environments. And so you're able to now go caliber up or caliber down within each Let's screen's overall. Yes, that's how you get that, that, the caliber, that, that filter. The more it's going to change the, the look of the walls. Oh, I don't know, man. It's not just visual either. Increasing the caliber does increase the damage of the bullet does. So we're kind of moving away from this concept of protecting rate of fire and damage we're letting the players control it we have created class in the game and okay building on what it, creative class definitely makes guns perform way better than what they normally weapon. do three perks lethals and tactics. previously but you'd add some attachments be like yeah and now it's like they they act so very very different very very different system coming back we try to find something green system, ammo types 10 attachments as well that you can put on the gun that's true the coolest thing about 10 attachments is that we were able to make it to the oh yeah see the background yeah you're right marky it's less greens the other attachments. less greens in that scene more options kind of <laughs> what do you think i'm looking at bro guns and bring it all there's the nothing green that's true because you can tailor them to whatever you want them to be yeah there's green and then it's still familiar oh in the, the scene perks, okay. the three perk slots and you can actually modify those and get some modifications around some of the other core gameplay pieces and with these weapons and with this caliber system there's so much in there to be able to use. We have certain perks that are dedicated. Is there a companion app so I can set all this shit up in the in the in the, in the thing? Combine perks for close range yep. to make it so much more like an SMG. Yeah, it is. It is definitely the removal of green, which has made this LMG weird. Because if you see the green in the background, it's very faded. It's very way. faded. Lean into our new mounted movements. What the? So you can slide okay. around cover. You might equip it with piercing vision as one of your perks. Your perk two. Oh what? Actually highlight people this isn't in the beta. Suppressed. Suppression Bruh. is a new mechanic that slows people down. And with that, like that is going to give us. Well, guys, freaking you out? He's he's sending me around the twist. He's, he's, he's absolutely sending me around the fucking twist. Risky things, allowing players to tune things like damage or rate of fire, but we're committed to figuring out the right values there, making a balanced game. We really want to push the envelope. Okay. And we really want to bring players a version of Call of Duty, a flavor of it that they haven't tried before it is truly the most immersive call of duty experience whoa, 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 whoa. And slow <laughs> i'm looking for the barcode on his neck he's smart he's covered up he's what he's done is when the guy in the middle's not looking he swipes some makeup off off his off, off his wrist or whatever this bill this went mm, just covered it up that's what he's done exactly what he's done we're in this together we're in it with the community we're there getting it's all memes. It's all memes. from them on all of these elements and it and we want to make it the best I'm sorry, Mr. Hitman, everyone. man. Don't come kill me. <laughs> okay. Next-gen technology, really? Because a lot of it is a, like a lot of visual clutter. Like, we played Counter-Strike the other night, and it was just... See, look, it is a green screen. Bro, it is a friggin' virtual studio. We could have these great conversations. Bro. It's about stepping out of our comfort There's zone. There's backgrounds in like, 100%. 100%. On the last project, we took on the brotherhood of the soldier. That's why they did a green screen. That's why they took, that's why they put it more blue, predominantly blue, because all the greens were basically just getting removed. It's just, it's not a fuck. It can't be a set. There's no it way. Look. Look at those leaves, bro. They're not look deep enough. This game in Vanguard, it's a fresh look. We wanted something fresh. No we way. to get into that anti-hero. This time around, we we kind of dug deeper and we tried to understand what okay, the soldiers were going through. And it changes the way that they walk. It changes the way that they talk. Even the way they would dress and how they would. Stand. So it had to be somebody that was. Let me let me let me just let me let me just like, get this idea down. Person. You can see where it finishes. It finishes clearly. The set finishes right here. The stuff in the foreground. The set finishes like here. All that back there is fake. Like here. 
all this back here is is most likely fake, right? Call of Duty, this new one, basically is like Black Ops, not Black Ops, it's literally Bad Company, which is kind of like Inglorious Bastards, right? But the Call of Duty version of it. That's what I, I, that's what I, I that feel like person. I'm getting with all these weird characters and, and, and stuff. That, that, was big too, right? that truck is real, there's no way! No, you see... When I saw oh, Daniel Yatsu, I, I thought to myself, no way. Hey, you know what? I want to be that character because that character kind of feels like me, you know? And I think that's huge. I nah, just love bro. That our game, we're taking a character-centric approach. You actually well, has to be green screen, have yeah. a roster. Has to be. Yeah, you get to learn more about them. Yeah, it makes me want to play every character. And they all have different looks as well that have their personalities in them. The Is there an Aussie operator? Done a lot of great work to recreate, you know, all the. Well, is there redheads in World War Two? Well, it's clear, bro. It's clear. Redheads didn't actually come to the surface till like four years after World War World War Two finished, bro. They were underground. They lived underground in caves. And then when they realized that the Great War was over and they were like, oh, it's safe, then they came out of the they came out of the out of the sinkholes, man. They dress the mannequin yeah. as the exact character, they scan it there, and then they virtualize the authentic gear in. I really do think that the same thing going with, with operators is a well, weird yeah. thing. Why not just make yeah, so me as a character and you can make your own character, kind world. of make him look like you and then you just customize it how you want. Generic character, go and play it. Don't have to worry about too much I mean, about the storyline. Not too much shit, just give us some cool cool cosmetics. Quick boys, study them, study them. There's a hack, there's a, the, the there's a... And that would really we can get him through the back there. The spatial relationships of the buildings and the road and, and the hedges. You know, it, it feels like a real place. It also helps with the tone because when something feels more realistic, oh, you man. More seriously. Yeah. You know, and when you want to be immersed, <sighs> you don't want to be pulled out. By yeah, I get it. Artificial. You're scanning environments and all that sort of stuff. Yep, yep, cool. But, but and boys. There's so many other things that we've done to this engine. Like, we've done a lot with foliage that's in our Pacific maps. Just speaking of simple things like foliage, the way that the light hits the leaves and then like bleeds and then shines through makes it feel more realistic. We've been using some new software techniques to Isn't that... generate simulations for oh, really man. windy situations okay. where the palm trees are colliding with each other and it yeah, really yeah, makes yeah. the map have this energy to it. All of those atmospheres. Well, are they exactly like the, the same, same Berlin, every time? The Vutu, like these maps have so much weather going on and it's been exciting. I feel to like see it in the if game. they can make dynamic weather for all of these maps. Neo Epic lenses is something they we're looking at game wide. Oh, we want trouble. to add that new, fresh, badass on top of the Epic setting. And that's something that you've developed. Yeah, with, with the art team. What are they doing? We talked about what's the thing that's going to set us apart from the previous game that we made together. Right. And so we talked a lot about the contemporary lens. And that's where the whole Neo aspect comes. Neo Noir. It's a new oh, okay. evolved version. I thought they were gonna Neo bring Noir in. Uh, I thought they were so gonna bring in freaking Neo from the Matrix, bro, as a skin. We wanted to take cues yes. from the great epics of the past. Oh and my God! Add a Neo rebirth to it. A lot of that has to do with composition of the landscape. But firstly, they need to understand that putting that so much into one Call of Duty game is bullshit. I get that you know you want to give people the most bang for the their buck or whatever it is. Job. If you wind it back and don't and make it you're a generic soldier, I feel like that's a little bit better because then you can basically be whoever the fuck you want. You can customize your the way you look. You can add that as an unlock. You can basically you know add those in as things you unlock, and then that way you look at someone straight away and go, holy fuck, he's got that armor on. I'm not fucking with him. Or like you know, you ball around, you grind it out, you get fucking dark matter, fucking ammo or a camo or whatever the fuck it is. On, as an outfit and you go holy fuck it doesn't have to be 100 percent accurate characters. Those characters you know what i mean also come over it's crazy crazy we took the personalities from our campaign and brought them to the wild exaggerated crazy mm, world okay we have 12 operators that launched six in the beta all from different walks of life where's the aussie one what is bringing those characters together in campaign captain butcher who's a returning yeah. character from Call of Duty World War II, he's back, he's got a much okay. larger role now. We needed a character when we went to the Special Forces, the 
connected yeah because you want to tie it all back in, in, in the war zone that's cool um so i mean about the fans it's dallas investor shit for the old fuck that we don't understand medium um dump money into anyway yeah. no you're right 100 right it's just bullet points on page man where's the aussie guy task forces that, that him no the sotfs what are these that's the whole notion of, of multiplayer is that this is butcher forming these teams you know they do feel like ragtag people pulled from all over the world yeah they all got it from army supply plus elite soldiers there's a sale so when you unlock one of these operators you get that moment to learn more about their backstory melinda do you have a favorite one of those i do they look very similar Slash, those hatches who is dutch aruban okay and she was plucked from her everyday life and put into the war and she did strategy and i think I'm, what's interesting I'm, is with our character mercenaries from which from which scuff scuffinaries man i don't want to say that she looks like a fortnite character not this chick this this uh where is it where is it, where is it? this lady here this lady's lady's rocking that rocking that nose piercing like a boss and that leather jacket i could never pull that off that last operator that we're talking about uh whatever where is it back here somewhere she looks like a fortnite skin no she looks like a fortnite skin Come on, man. Are you fucking, you gonna do me like that, dude? Nope, oh, not this one. This one. I like this one. Nope, nope, nope. Just keep toggling between them. He looks like a Fortnite skin, bro. They say she was Dutch. Yeah, she was Dutch. Yep. Dutch or Ruben, apparently. Was plucked from her everyday life and put into the war, and she did strategy. And I think what's interesting is with our characters, we also not only touch on people who fought on the front lines we touch on people that fought at home that guy's or an actor i'm sure he is not primed for war. So he didn't look they dutch though people that wanted to live normal lives and then the war happened and everything confirmed marky confirmed for us that that doesn't look dutch not accurate just want to let everyone know we have man on the inside that didn't that wasn't that wasn't uh netherlands changed. It wasn't deutschland you can't change deutschland's germany isn't it but you can choose how it molds you most of the time in, in multiplayer, you're, you're selecting the character, you're in the game, you're in the action, running around. We have a couple that are just like absolutely crazy, don't we? I think Paulina's really sinister, actually, and you get more uh, of Do you want to know where there are real people? Well, I'm teabagging someone. Yeah, that's it. It almost makes you like, afraid that's it. of her. It's about immersion, about putting players No, I do want to know if they... And these stories are just so I think fantastic. I've been in stuff. Mm -hmm. We wanted to champion a lot of the forgotten stories of the war okay. and a lot of them are female-led stories there are a lot of women that had a part in the war whether on the home fronts or on the battlefield we created so much lore around them and their backstory and who they were as people and also we wanted them to, Needs to be feel flat. like distinct pieces on their own thousand percent you're randomly assigned an operator when you they haven't forgotten the if they're remembered one thousand percent as much as you want now and pulling out 100 percent about a free which is a brand new thing where as you're leveling that operator you're getting cosmetic rewards they have charms that are based on their backstory new cool animations that we use in the game for finishing Absolutely. moves and everything else that really immerse you in that experience We don't have factions in multiplayer. It's team A versus team B. It is a very deliberate decision, but it's one that we found was for the best of the game. It, it allows players to be able to customize their character and how they want to play. Okay. You know, once we made that call, it was really important to then really dig of Judy. to find all those different characters. Made the call. The global war and people were fighting their own battles in their own Of countries. Judy. I do think, though, there's a lot of opportunities God, for people shoot. to learn about new perspectives and new angles on <sighs> things that happened during that time period. So we have a lot of diversity in our characters, not just in their race, but in their appearance, their gender. You know what this feels like? You know what this feels like? This feels like... This feels like... This feels like the... The guy... The, 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 you know, the first time when you sort of... <laughs> And for some people, they, f they shoot the cannon off too early. It all goes. They they let it all let it all rip at once. This feels like this. It's just like, and here's this, and then here's that, and then here's this, and then here's that, and then there's something about simplicity inside of a shooter. You can't please everyone with everything, but if you do something solid enough, it's big droves, and people just have fun with that in the sandbox. You try and put too much of a narrative on it. 
and I feel like you feel almost overwhelmed with all this stuff and you're like oh my god this is crazy wow oh my god this is fantastic wow you know well like Mike just said it because sure it's cool to hear about the untold stories during the war but how many untold stories can they lean on but how can they be untold stories if they're telling them and more, furthermore why is it always like an insane cast of characters every time every time every this, this person's like this and like that blah 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 blah, blah 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 i get it they're all recruited in to do whatever whatever they need to do but surely somewhere along the line someone's got to write all this shit and it's probably someone's job to like figure out all the storylines all the unique storylines from but a lot of them it's it's it. Not everyone has a ridiculously insane storyline that's interesting, you know what I mean? You know, some people just have an ordinary, hey, look, I came from the suburbs and then, you know, I joined the army because I couldn't, you know, that was my best, that was my best, uh, that was my best thing that I could do, to join the army. You know? It's crazy. Crazy. They're all fictional characters grounded in World War II, but they are based on real people and real groups that did fight in the war. Another thing with oh, based on real groups. the characters you're playing as, we don't want them to talk yes. too much. To sort of we need the Red Clan. Allow the player to live the fantasy, so That's in Jess's multiplayer, one. we get to actually make them talk. The Red Clan didn't show up till three, four years after World War II ended. Remember, Jess? That was when that was when the um the fissures opened up in the earth, and then the Reds came out. It's crazy. It's a beautiful time. And you can hear them talk more. You had that coming. It's multiplayer. It's still a game. Oh, it's Arnold. But there's Arnold's so in much here. history. Great. There's so much depth and richness. And you've been able to bring all of this together into this story that is quite amazing. I'm not shitting on it. I'm just asking a lot of questions in this one, Dad. The PC hey, experience. Everyone. My name is Mac Okay, let me, let me tell you what the PC experience is going to be like. Really shit if you're playing with console players because it's dragging you down to their level and your TTK is going to be absolutely crap. That's what we experienced over the long weekend. Um, asked the boys and we found that when we put it only PC lobbies, everything got a little bit snappier. Everything was a little bit easier. Like, hmm, something about that. Alexandre Milo, the UI UX director at Dinox. And today I'm here representing Dinox, the lead PC developer for Call of Duty. And we are very excited. Okay. Being with Call of Duty Vanguard, Pinox has put together a dedicated and passionate team to push the quality of the PC version each and every You want to make it awesome on PC? Let us host servers, bro. Tailor for our PC community by supporting when I said to PC, it only takes 10 years to find a lobby. Yeah, that's knowledge. true. I guess it gives you cannon fodder, but it also makes gives them aim assist. With Call of Duty Vanguard, you will get the greatest features and improvements that we have built over okay. the years. Okay. Such as uncapped frame rate the ultra wide and the multi monitor support and also multi -monitor. a lot of settings to fully customize your experience throughout the game right just, just crank it all on high man it's and fine customization we wanted our game to be even more accessible we added option to reduce motion sickness improve text readability and we even added adaptive ease of use settings to fit your gameplay style okay We've also done a ton of work to improve that low latency weapons. stuff kind of works by using he's playing in 4k combined with an RG yo stoji what up dude Nvidia LDAP, hey, man, man. A device that measures one time i see brother latency we were able to <laughs> identify opportunities to improve reaction time that guy there stoji fucking og man what it do the stoji himself in terms of milliseconds we have also reworked our auto detect features as you may know we optimize all the graphic settings based on your okay I don't think this is real because the thing is in the settings there is no option to go oh man i put the settings too high let's just go back and roll it back you can't put it back you can't change it back it's freaking silly it's dumb clint what up dude hey no man but this time you get to choose if you prefer to have the awesome visual experience or aim for the excuse me 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 can you guys see what's wrong with this with this image i'll give you i'll give you i'll give you five seconds you guys have figured out exactly what's wrong with this thing that's on the screen right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's what's wrong with it. He has a controller plugged in, dude. A thousand percent ace, you win. You win the fucking thing tonight, bro. He has a controller plugged in, playing on PC. What the fuck?
Auto capped FPS to 100 controller plugged in a PC. Why? Why? Why have it? Why? Why? Why is that a thing? What's that VRAM usage? Hey, five, five gig of VRAM usage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Mike. We got a 39 minutes. Fine. Don't worry about it. It's five gig of VRAM usage. At 4K. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird, huh? It's like using control of CSGO. It's worse than using control of CSGO. It's like literally using a freaking um, Wii Wiimote. And not the, the motion sensing bit. Just, just the D-pad. You know? Why is the menu limited to 60? Because, um... I don't know. I have got no idea. No idea. I am Scrambles. Lassie, while waiting for your friends to jump into your party, or during a round transition, you added a setting that reduces the brightness... And trust if I give you VRAM for 4K? Well, Me neither. Tracking, Me neither, Mike. Without missing any of the action. It's we not that so smooth, bro. to talk about in the upcoming months. And we can't also, this is shot at 24 frames, so... Call of Duty Vanguard on Battle.net. Now, I'll pass it to Raven to give you the latest intel on what's coming to Warzone this year. Really? Should we play Warzone? Hodge, Just be done with it? Play fucking Warzone? Software. With the launch of Vanguard, we want to ensure that the feel and character of the game extends beyond... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but maybe it's something interesting. If you understand me, yes. I'm not trying to take the piss out of him. I am trying to take the piss out of him. It's weird. Why is he delivery so strange? You just be like, hey guys, this is what's coming out for Warzone. We love your shit. We love you guys coming in. Give us some money. On the multiplayer experience and into Call of Duty Warzone, I am pleased to announce that there is a brand something. new Warzone. He knows something. It's Ron Weasley's dad. No, it's his uncle, man. Vanguard, and we are going to Don Weasley. Pacific. Featuring an entirely new play space, complete with all new points of view. Oh no. We'll get to traverse the lush landscapes of the island. If they don't put a smoke monster a on this island, I will be disappointed. Cool while and a hatch. Alongside friends and foes. Our goal was to create a fresh, new experience for Call of Duty players. By breaking out of the war. <laughs> Arthur Weasley. Dam, Arthur Weasley's the man. create an atmosphere that is vibrant, alive, and it really opens the doors. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we wind that back for a second? On the back for a I understand that, like, you know, this is a big game, right? This is a big, this is a big crazy game. This game is crazy. But can we, can, if I want this back just a little, just, just a touch, just a touch, just a touch, a little bit more. I want you guys to look at this waterfall. Look amazing, look at how amazing the graphics are vibrant, uh, uh, on that waterfall. Alive, and it really opens the doors to how we can craft the narratives and events. As far as visuals and technology, Warzone Pacific will share the same tech and engine as Call of Duty Vanguard. This allows for seamless weapon integration and play balance. Fully optimized crossplay, mm -hmm. cross progression, mm -hmm. and cross gen support will be mm -hmm. enabled so that you can play with your friends across different platforms and generations of consoles. Okay, guys, you want me to play? You want you want me to play? You want me to play with friends across platform? Bring it out on mobile. Bring it out on mobile. Let me play with them. It's ridiculous. But most importantly, we want to ensure that Warzone Pacific will be the best experience. Like the sidebones, yeah, they're quite, they're quite lengthy. With a multifaceted new anti-cheat system. Because has got some chops, bro. With the new experience goes live later this year. Is that We're Mark Wahlberg? Is that fucking Mark Wahlberg? Please tell me I just spotted Mark Wahlberg in in in, in this game. Multifaceted. Ready? Check this out. System that will be rolled out with the new experience. Ah, uh, kinda. Kind? We're gonna play a real game like Ghost Recon. Oh, Ghost Recon, bro. Nah, it's not. It's not. It looked like him for a second there. Putting it through the final paces and testing, and are excited to have it ready day one when the new Warzone experience releases. Our yeah. teams have worked hard on this. Shortly followed. And shortly followed by all by an insane amount of hackers just hacking the lobby because it'll just get ripped apart. Right? That's how they do so it. We'll continue to do so. We know how much it means to everyone. We will be continuing to offer a massive calendar of free post-launch content featuring mm. new modes, mm -hmm. playlists, mm -hmm. limited time events, mm -hmm. and seasonal events. Okay. As well as community celebrations and much more. We look forward to playing with all mm. of you later this year when the Pacific officially comes online. 
if they do another we'll ghost ghost brick and well i'll play that for sure 100 there's so much more for our fans to experience from the beta through it launch. must not the beta will be running <sighs> over the next two weekends that, that background must be real set then. starting today for your first look at live gameplay from call of duty vanguard core multiplayer tune in now hmm. to one of your favorite creators from the entire development team around the world tune into one of your favorite creators holy shit all right let me go check let, 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 me, let me just hear that shit again let me just hear that shit again tune in now to one of your let, let me just at live gameplay from call of duty vanguard core multiplayer tune in now to one of your favorite creators from the entire development team around the world. right now right now right right now i need i need to tune into one of my favorite creators right uh freaking all right um let's listen corridor crew boys are playing it uh yeah i don't see call of duty on here at all hmm hmm interesting interesting that interesting the world Thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see you in the game. Oh, is that it? Oh, we're done. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, dude, boys, the bait is this weekend. Let's go. Yeah, we should stream some Pornhub, man. We should take that whole platform back. <laughs> and literally put it, put in the, just put in the title. One brown dude rails an entire an entire team of people. <laughs> oh man. That is the best thing about the trailer. Yep, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Turn into Twitch or YouTube to see streamers from around the globe playing Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer starting now. Really? Twitch or YouTube? Playing Call of Duty games? Well, why don't we have a look? Uh, let's have a look and see if there's anyone playing Call of Duty Vanguard right now. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Um, that's right. Um, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Va Vanguard is. Yep. Um, we, we're gonna. We, we, it's coming. It's we're we're, we're trying to find. It's it's here. And I, I know. Just give me a second. I I just I just. I just, it's, it's here. It, it, I promise, I think I left it, wait up. It, it was, it's, it's uh, just, really? Really? We can go back, boys. We can go back. We can go back, boys. We can go back. I think Adam was playing it. Um, Let's do it. <laughs> Go back to Black Ops 3, dude. I'm sure it's here, right? No. No, it's not. Oh, that's awesome. That means that we're live right now and then we're not showing up. So maybe if I just go... Can you choose? Can you can you go... I want to look at... um, Call of Duty... Vanguard. So if I go look this up... Is it going to give me a thing? Or am I the only person in the world right now that's playing this game? There's gotta be Adam. Where's Adam? Is Adam playing? Is Adam streaming? What's going on? Is he doing the thing? Play Black Ops 3. Why are people watching NBA 2K16 content? I have no fucking idea, bro. Some people, some people are strange like that. There's a few? Where are they, Marky? I can't find them, bro. Is it here? So click on that. Channel? Oh, there are. Then why do I have to go that way? Why can't I just go through the front, bro? It's dumb. It's super dumb. Oh, wow. The season was winners. Oh, cool. Uh, this isn't listed wide, worldwide, right? This isn't ranked worldwide. There has to be more people than this. Surely. We got to beat this person in Japan. Quick, everyone jump on second accounts. Quick, everyone jump on second accounts. Let's get a 15. Let's get a 16. Mr. Worldwide. 